Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm making a reverse dyed rainbow fan fold sweatshirt. I washed my sweatshirt, then just took it straight out of the washing machine and so it has not been soaked in soda ash or anything else. I've laid my sweatshirt out flat and using a piece of kite string and white chalk, I'm going to draw an arc on the side of my sweatshirt. Then I'm just going to fan fold this line. Now I'm going to tie it up with some artificial sinew. I'm using the artificial sinew because it is wax coated. So everywhere that I put a tight sinew line, it will cause a barrier that won't allow the color remover to get down into the fabric and remove the color from that area. So everywhere where I put one of the sinew lines is going to hopefully remain black underneath that area. I'm going to fan fold the rest of the sweatshirt as well and tie it up with sinew lines too. I'm going to try to make them sort of equal in distance apart from each other. Once I get down to the sleeves, I'm going to go ahead and fan fold that area and then I'm just going to fold it in half so that it folds into the rest of the sweatshirt. It'll be easier to tie up that way.
Now that my sweatshirt is tied, it's time to remove the dye. I'm using a process that I just kind of figured out on my own that works for me, so you are welcome to do whatever you would like to. But this is the process that I use. I have a three and a half gallon bucket and I've filled it part way with really hot tap water. I filled it the rest of the way with boiling hot water from my stove. Then I've opened up two of the boxes of the Rit Color Remover and poured those down inside of the water and mixed it up to dissolve the color remover. Then I'm going to add my items to the bucket. In this batch, I'm going to do this sweatshirt and I'm going to do two t-shirts at the same time. I want to add them to the bucket and make sure they're fully submerged under the color remover. I'm going to let them sit in the color remover for 20 minutes and every now and then I'll come back and stir the bucket. After 20 minutes, I came back, took my bucket to the sink, dumped it out, rinsed my items with just water, and threw them in the washing machine. For this sweatshirt, I went ahead and left it tied up. I didn't untie it or anything. I put it in the washing machine. After my wash cycle was finished, I took it out, put it into my bucket of soda ash solution, and let it sit for probably about 30 minutes. Then I spun it out in my Panda spin dryer along with some other items and set it aside for several hours while I was working on a few other projects. By the time I got to it to apply the dye, it was pretty much dry. For this sweatshirt, I'm going to use the rainbow and I'm beginning with stock red from Grateful Dyes. Followed by bright orange from Grateful Dyes. Lemon Yellow from Dharma Trading Company Green from Custom Colors Turquoise from Grateful Dyes Grape from Custom Colors and Fuchsia from Grateful Dyes. I'm going to stripe the sweatshirt all the way down and just keep repeating the colors until I'm out of spaces. Then I'm going to turn the sweatshirt over and repeat the color pattern on the other side. I'm really trying to saturate each one of these areas very well. This sweatshirt is obviously very thick and I want to make sure I don't have a lot of areas in the middle that don't get any color.
After I'm finished applying my dye and feel like I have it pretty well saturated, I'm going to put my sweatshirt down inside of a tub and down in the bottom of that tub I have a rack so that my sweatshirt won't just sit on the bottom of the tub. Then I'm going to put the lid on the tub and it's really hot outside so I'm going to go ahead and just put the whole entire tub outside and let it process for at least 24 hours. This one actually processed for probably more like 36 hours before I got to rinsing it out. And this is what our sweatshirt looks like. I was a little bit concerned because this is my first time doing a reverse dye on a sweatshirt, but I'm really happy with the outcome. I like how much black I ended up with. I also am very happy with the fact that I got good color saturation all throughout the sweatshirt. Hey, if you guys are enjoying watching these videos, I sure would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. All you have to do is hit the big red subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.